Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm here tonight with the usual crew, Christian and Anna. What up? <coughs> Good evening. And I didn't get my camera like ready before the show. Uh, way to go. Yeah, no. I apologize that we are late. I had to eat dinner. Mm -hmm. It's always Anna that makes us late. Just That's remember right. that. It's always we always Anna. blame me, even when it's not me. So it's all good. But today it was me. There we go. So, so yeah. So, uh, as, uh, you know, as is tradition, we're reviewing something that you can't get. Well, I guess you can get just for a lot more. So... Uh, so apparently we don't even have to do we don't actually have to do a uh, review Randall says Alita's better so there we go done done all right good night I can't everybody. wait to get Alita I'm so, excited yeah. for that it, ironically we don't have uh, Anna and I don't have an Alita yet because uh, we ordered it um, or, or you know Paul found a couple extra and was sending them to us and Thursday will be what two weeks? Is that right? I think um, so. Yeah, it's uh, the the mail is going a little bit slow this time of year. So, um, yeah, hopefully, automatic. hopefully I get it sometime this week. So, but I hope so. Yeah, I also have yeah. a delivery coming from Christian that I'm excited about. I need these things, material goods. That's what the season's all about, right? Um, and then, uh, also tonight, uh, someone is celebrating a birthday. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Christian. So there yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday, buddy. Love that. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it's on a Transformers podcast. Your age is definitely considered old. It's not. I'm not the youngest of us, but, uh, yeah. I'm the youngest of the microcasters. How about You're that? You're the youngest of us, yes. There you go. M much younger than less Anna and I. Less young You're today. How about that? You're the I'm most chronologically micro microcaster. It's my birthday. It was nice. Thank you. Yeah. Did were you able to do anything fun or just kind of normal day? Uh, normal day. My dad came to have dinner with me. That was cool. It's exciting. I got myself a couple presents. I got the uh, the Marvel Legends Target Cyborg Spider Man. No connection to it. I like Spider Man. I like robots. Combining them seemed like a good idea, and it was. And then for my big present, I got myself a Perfect Effect uh, Cryotech. I've been eyeing it for just over a year. I figured it was time. Have you opened it yet? No. Okay. You got, really wanted to. you got a back I ran, I I ran out of time today. I mean, it, maybe if we keep a tight show, I'll open it before I go to bed. We'll see. You had to play with these TC Little Nuggets first. I did. Yay. Yeah, so um, so I guess on to Show the me. review. Which one do we want to do first? Did oh, yeah. You did you... St I was actually thinking that, Christian. Is Your, your well, budget's not in place till next year, right? Correct. So you pretty much need to, as an excuse, buy all these things this year Everything. as a birthday present. I, uh, I There's nothing left for me to buy this year. Oh, uh, there's it's all these things left to buy. I, I've got everything. The MMC <laughs> Chrome Dome just dropped, too. So Yeah, that's I exciting. already bought that. It happened. Uh, Tonight, we are joined by the Galactic Odyssey Collection, Paradron Medics. Which is a sly term because this character Lifeline used to be known as Paradrom Medic. Now she has and her own I name, and I still identity. call this Paradrom Medic because yeah. that's what I think of it as. No, her name is Lifeline. Now the name Paradrom Medic did that first come from the heroes from Cyber of Cybertron line, or was it, it used before? Okay. I mean, it was described in the script for the episode where the Paradrom Medics were, but okay, as like a name that yeah, first time was in Heroes of Cybertron. Okay, got it. Because I had that toy. I remember that toy. I didn't have that one. It was the only one I could ever find in a Walgreens. <clears throat> that was like back when Walgreens exclusives were weird crap. I used to see her in Eckerd. 
Oh, wow. Do I have any of those <laughs> anymore? Nope, those are not a thing anymore. Well, do we want to start with the green We'll start one, with, we'll start with life this. Line. is Lifeline. Okay. This is also Lifeline. She's a so, recon RC, straight up rebate. No big deal there. She's neat. But um, as Lucas will tell you, and then I'm going to tell you, she's got uh, a little bit of QC issues here. Oh, no. My The legs on my version are just are really, really bad. Like yeah, your your hips are bad. My knees are the, bad. The, my hip my hips are bad, and she actually can't really stand. Like I actually legitimately. So I was asking Christian the show like how he displays it. If he you know does the backpack or if he you know uses the backpack as um, you know a platform or whatever. And um, I actually have to use it as a platform because the legs are loose enough to she where to stand. she can't stand otherwise. Yeah, so she kind of needs it to stand. So I, I don't know. I was talking to Christian before the show, and I might talk to Sean as well to try to figure out what's the best plan of attack to uh, to tighten up the hips. You know, like if I should put future in there, if I should try to do a pin punch and 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 try and see if I can kind of take out the pins and put them back in. I don't know, but yeah, my my legs are bad. Yeah, it's a bummer. Mine feel pretty tight. I played with her a little bit before I put her in car mode. Because I figured no one else would have theirs in car mode. So I went ahead and did it. But the car um, mode is so good, Anna. I mean, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. This is exactly not at all good. But it's fine. It's The car mode really needed to be broken up in color. In both versions of this toy so far. Like, there's just so much green on this car mode on the sides without any detail or anything else. Having the recessed wheels causes it to feel a lot more plain than yeah. it would if it actually had exposed wheels. So, you know, part of that's RC's design and part of that's just the limitations of this absolute shell former. Um, yeah, shell you know, I kind of wish that they had taken the plastic off of those, you know, wheel covers and put them on the back. So that you would have, like, more covering in the back. Because you can kind of see things, you know, like if you're... I mean, not the, you know, whatever, but the back of the alt mode. But um, I, I agree with you. Like, I'm not, like, a huge fan of the way they did the wheels. Like, I wish they, you know, these little things went up um, higher so that you could just see the wheels. But, yeah. I mean... And the alt mode is just okay, but I don't know, like, if you were... If you were going to display a Generations RC and or whatever, Paradromatic, Lifeline, whoever you are trying to display, I wouldn't really recommend this mold to do it. I'd recommend using the Thrilling 30 mold to do the car mode. I think it looks better. I, Did they do Lifeline in, it is like a BotCon figure? Like, is it in that Thrilling yes. 30 mold? Yes, she was in the second to last subscription service. Okay. She's not so, so cheap these days. That is where she got her name. Fun fact. Yay! So you may notice that much like Lucas, when we first um, reviewed the RC, my car does not have a fed. Yeah, I wanted to talk about that because mine fell off while I was messing around with it, and I noticed it. I was like, "Crap, where did it go?" And it was well, like, what I what I love is is that you got in and you're like, oh, the RC fin is like kind of hard to you know see, right? Because it's like a flo uh, frosted clear uh, plastic. Well, you know, luckily, uh, you know, she's like, hey, you know, hold my energon because this is even. It's clear. just it's just clear. Like it's a hundred percent clear. And the, the gun is also 100% clear. So I, I don't know how I'm going to manage to keep these, like, and, and not lose these things. So it's not in uh, my box. I really checked my floor really hard. I can't find it there either. I really hope it's somewhere. It might not have came with it. I really wouldn't know, but I'm a little worried that I won't have it. Yeah. yeah I was I transformed it for the first time, and I noticed that it was <laughs> gone. I was like... Yeah. Crap, and I, you know, I know to check for it because I opened both of my my RC and my Lifeline after we did that show, so I know to check for it now. So I checked for it, and it was there out of box, and then it wasn't there. I was like, "Oh no!" But it and just like her friend, she has the storage for the gun underneath, 
And I did not push it in all the way because I remembered what happened when I pushed my RC's gun in all the way. I got it stuck and I couldn't get it back out for like some time. I had to get pliers to help me with it. So I didn't push it in this time. I just put it in just a little bit so I could illustrate the functionality and see if it would roll. Um, and we've talked about the mold before, right? You know, it's a it's a folded up woman in a shell. Yeah. I mean, um, honestly, I'm okay, okay with that. it. I don't, I don't really have that big of a problem with it. I think that the way that they did it allows it to, like, look really good in alt mode. And I know uh, there's an upgrade kit, I think, coming out for RC and whatnot that's even more, like, even smaller than this, too, right? Yeah, it'll, the upgrade kit's going to make it look pretty much um, more for Cybertron's show accurate in robot mode. It will not transform, though, best I can tell. Yeah. So it's cool because, you know, then you kind of have your Action Master slash Red Series slash whatever you want to call it, non-transforming version. You probably weren't going to transform her anyway because this mode's not great, but whatever. I have to say, though, I do agree with Catherine. I really do like the idea of a clear gun. I like the implementation of a clear gun. I do not like the fear of losing said clear gun. It's cool. Like, I really do like the idea of either a gun that's just clear to conceal it or a gun that's so invisible that it's a dangerous weapon to have. It's really just a messy, silly thing to think about and amusing, but it's yes, not the best idea choice. for a toy accessory. Yeah, it was an odd choice to make. It is hard to see because it's not big either, right? Like that's not right. a, it's not a large gun. It's it's a pretty small gun. Another issue that Mike came with, uh, I'm not sure about you guys, but the larger part of the backpack has trouble tabbing into the smaller part yep. of the backpack. Yeah, I don't remember that happening so badly with RC. No. Mine too. Right? I took out the package. It was just like floppy, flop, flop, flop everywhere. I mean, I can. I got it in there. It took some finagling, but it's there. Yeah, mine too. Man, it shouldn't be that difficult. I agree. Mine did the same exact thing. That said, you know, we've talked about some, some issues we have, but she is beautiful. I mean, this is really well painted. I mean, the colors just pop. I mean, they added some face paint this time. You know, RC kind of has it. Lifeline definitely has face paint. I mean, it's this nice kind of lavendery color. It's, yeah. it's beautiful. That's yeah, the thing is, I, I really wish, and I, like, I hope that they do an upgraded RC, you know, like in the Netflix line or something like that, to where you just have, like, a, a light pink on the face or, or whatnot, because I think that it just really brings the details out. And then they also, like, added, um, there's these little bits of green on the side of the helmet, too, that kind of help it pop. And so, like, I mean, if they did put those same paint apps like on RC like I think they would really be nice yeah I agree with that yeah I agree with that too I, any of that would help um, it definitely the RC definitely needs paint this one really doesn't except in the car mode you could still use paint but you know yeah this car mode is broken up better than RC I think yes. but it, it could still use some help but you know maybe reefer labels will come along and help us with that I mean, there are gray stripes on the side of this one, yeah, the, whereas the they're not on RC. One. So, I mean, there is yeah. there's a lot more paint on this. If you are going to get paint, you always want it in the robot mode as opposed to the alt mode. So, it's fine. Yep. Yeah. I don't think I actually knew that the inside of the back here actually swung in on RC. I think I never did that. Oh, yeah. That's that's the tabs that tab them in that, I, that mine don't work very well. Yeah. Yeah. So you swing them in and then tap them to the back. Yeah, it doesn't work very well for mine. It comes right out. I, I was able to just, like, pressure it and get it in there before, which I can probably that's, do again. Yeah, that's what I did, too. So, yeah, Lifeline is good. It's good to see a more, well, a relatively more widespread release of her after yeah. the, uh, the subscription service one from the club days. Right. This is not. This is still not, you know, a main release since it's an exclusive, but... It was fairly wide. Had some yeah, issues. I don't know. I mean, why, why the thing that's why? frustrating in general about all these Amazon exclusives is that people have, like, had their orders canceled on them. That somehow, like, I don't understand why Amazon does that, you know what I mean? Like, like, like why are they allowing people to pre-order something and then canceling it after? Like, 
to me, I feel like if they know they're getting, you know, 10,000 or 20,000 or whatever it might be, right. like sell that many. And then once you get to there, like it sells out. I have heard some rumblings that Hasbro shorted them on the order. I don't have any way to prove or disprove that. That's the only thing that would make sense rumblings. to me. Um, you know, but, um, I don't know. Like, I like this mold, you know, if you're going to have, <clears throat> and I, I don't know, Anna, like, l let me ask you, which mold do you like better? Like, if you had to have your thousand female Transformers, would you rather have them all in this one, or would you rather have them in the, um, Moonracer, you know, whatever mold? This one. one. Yeah, I think this is a better mold. <clears throat> I do think that this mold is in a lot of ways more boring, but it does just look better as a toy yeah. and a robot. It's more fun to play with as a character. Like the the other one is definitely a better transformer. Like by far, this is not a good transformer. This is a woman action figure you fold up and put in a shell. We all know that we're all okay with it, or we hate it, one or the other. We move on with our lives. <clears throat> I think the three of us have all kind of come to terms with it. I mean, I think in general, like I I never really liked that MMC. Uh, RC, you know, whatever mold uh, that they did, the reformatted one. Um, and that's what they like, I really want to talk about with this because I have that one. And I thought I was going to keep that forever as my lifeline slash paradigmatic. And then this one started, you know, pictures started coming out. And I was like, oh, it's so pretty. Those colors are so perfect. I love it. I, I like this mold. I'm going to get it. And I'm just going to let myself pick which one of the two I like better. And I was certain it was going to be this one. And I got it out of the package. And I was like, it's definitely this one. Look how pretty it is. Look how fun it is. And then I took a close look at the head. And I don't think I can forgive the way they painted the head. The bottom of the front of her helmet is the color of her face. On RC, as a character, on this mold, on this way she's built, that has always been clearly a helmet with a face under it. Right? Okay. So that part is always white. And then whatever color the face is starts after that. Um, I Where did I put her? Dumb face. Oh, I put her up there. Um, and that just, like, really gets me. Because, like, RC wasn't painted in the face, right? But this one's just, like, it makes her look like she has, like, a clean-on forehead from Star Trek. Which I just don't Maybe think I can does. deal with it. Maybe she does. That is I think that she is has a bigger face than RC. Man, you find you find the like most that interesting one. ways to to nitpick a figure. That I do. It's like job. like your deal breakers. I mean, I mean honestly, like your trail breaker and hoist and whatnot, right? Like I can get on board with that. Like I like the figure. Okay, I understand for twenty dollar deluxe or whatever, right? But I can totally understand the fact that like the flap just hangs out there, right? I can get on that. I, I'm not sure, man, Anna. Like, the fact that, like, this is painted. I mean, I guess when when you have to have your one ultimate per character, you know, I mean, it's, it's I tough. I really to care about faces. Literally, the only reason I still own MP toys at this point do, do is for faces. Do you have the other mold? Can you show the face on the other mold? Because I, I don't even remember what it looks like. Mine is. Mine's on a shelf I'd have to get up for. Oh, okay. Do either of you have it in your hands? Nope. Close I, don't by. Have, no. I don't have them anymore. I sold them all. Oh, an older mold. Um, let me. I'll, I'll get up. I. No, it it, it doesn't matter. I go grab it. It's. I actually planned to bring one over to show the problem, but I was foolish and did not actually have it ready. I'll just step away for a second. But I'm gonna turn off my camera because I'm wearing pajama pants, and that's embarrassing. Even though I just told everyone. I was going to say, you just said something. You, you should have just Whatever. went off camera. <laughs> You're like, because I'm not wearing pants. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I like this in in general better. Like the, I, I, I like the way that the feet are and everything. I think that it, like, can pose, like, better and whatnot. Like, than that mold. I don't know. I just didn't really like that mold. I didn't like the... Um, um, I don't know. I, I just didn't like it. So all my versions of the Thrilling 30, strangely enough, um, for various story reasons, do not actually have heads. So 
I can't show that, but I can show one of my MMC versions. And you can see here that, you know, her, there's such contrast. Oh, but this is, this is the, um, this isn't the reformatted one though, right? That's no, the... this is, wait, were you wanting to see that one? I thought you just wanted yeah, to see the reformatted see what the helmet's one. supposed to look like. That's what I figured. Oh, oh but yeah, you're right. I can go, okay, I'll go on another trip. Vacations. Ugh. Where's that one at? I don't even know. Oh, there she is. Yeah, no, I understand about the helmet. And I, I, I mean, I guess I understand that. I don't know. I, I do wonder on some of these choices that they make, right? Because they had to have done both versions and someone had to have made the choice, right? Yeah. So, I don't know. Like, did they think that the head looked too small? Like, Unless they missed. I, Unless this is I, an extra error paint app. Or what I think happened is I do think it was an did. error. I think it was a, like, kind of a miscommunication thing. I think the reason it happened is that there isn't, like, a... The helmet isn't a separate piece from the face. If the helmet was a separate piece from the face, it would have been, you know, painted in that way. But since it's all, like, one kind of part, I think it just kind of got confused in there. So if you look at the old one, the old MMC, hopefully my light's good enough. You can see that the silver on her face... Yeah. Only starts at, you know, basically under her brow ridge. So, you know, it's a helmet that hangs down, you know, basically where my veins are. Right. So right. it's, it just, I really care about faces on my toys. Now, here's the thing like, I could either sell this thing and be done with it and be like, screw it, or I could spend about 30 seconds with a paint marker, a white paint marker, which I totally have, and cover the paint. And be done. It would it would then look right to me if I just put a little bit of white paint on her brow ridge. Yeah, see, I don't know. I like the head better than the MMC one. I mean, I understand the <laughs> MMC one is referencing the cop the IDW comic. Um, but oh, this is a better I head. I just don't right. like that little bit of paint on the forehead. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I mean, you it could be like RC, paper? and it just has no paint at all. So. Right, right. I really wanted the paint, and I was excited about the paint, and I love the color of the face, and I love the way the eyes pop, and I love the way the lips pop. It looks really good, and then it's just that one little spot where it's like, you painted too much. It's not a spot that's supposed to have paint. But whatever. It's not a big deal for most humans. For me, since I'm slightly wild yeah. in the brain part, I yeah. overthink it. Like, you know, that's probably not going to be a deal breaker for you, right? Like, if you're a person looking at the toy, you're probably looking at it and thinking, right. okay, Anna's silly. But... I mean, I will say that you do come up with with unique complaints about it. Because that is one that I have not heard from anyone else. Because I, I think I that a lot of people have complained about the transformation and, and whatnot. You know, I was complaining about the QC on mine, but... I was shocked that nobody had pointed out the face because that just like, that's what I saw. And I was just like, Oh no, this is hideous, but it's okay. Like it's so yeah. easily fixed. Like I can complain about it all day, but there's literally a white paint marker within reach of my left hand right now that I could grab, open the cap, shake it three times, put a little, d -d 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 -d, if you finish and she's fine. Right. I'd like her then. Well then do that. Well, yeah. I just have to decide if I want to keep her or not. Once I decide right. I will do that or not, if I wanted to make this figure better, it would need a lot of paint, right? Because this thing has no paint. Yeah. Well, why don't we go ahead and move to uh, Life Ratchet Packmate? Yeah. Uh, we got Ratchet. It's Ratchety Boy. <laughs> and he's interesting. It's the second time we've had this mold. And I still like it. But Lucas is going to tell you the same thing I'm going to tell you. It's very white. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of white plastic here. He needs a little bit of breakup, Sue. But he's good. Yeah, I mean, I think that that's really, you know, I, I have the Siege uh, um, Ratchet as well. And, I mean, this was like really a tough choice for me. Uh, between the two molds because I really like the accessories that the Siege one came with. Um, and, you know, I think that is a pretty neat neat looking one overall. Um, and, and I like that the red really broke things up 
um, yeah. on, you know, because they had like red on the feet and red on the legs and whatnot um, that's not present on, on this one. So I I do think like, you know, once uh, Toy Hacks comes out with a sticker set, you know, I'll be curious to see what they do, um, you know, to, to kind of break things up. Because I think that like that's probably going to solve my issue. I think overall I like the um, Earthrise mold better. I don't know. Which one do you yes. like better? Yeah, I, I like Earthrise, Earthrise. too, but it's because I really, I really do like the van that it becomes. Yeah, it's I know it's fine. got the feet, the feet thing, and I will show you. It's got the feet thing that we saw in Ironhide, but other than that, it is the G One show look. Yes. I mean, that's what it is. That's what I've always wanted, and now we finally have. It. Now the yeah, window actually... thing is an issue. Yeah, yeah. Anna could show you that with you know the shoulder still in the middle of the windows, and it's unpainted like windows, and that and it's got. Unpainted yeah. windows in the back, which so you is the shoulder here, right? That's one. I'm trying to see where I'm pointing. So the yep. shoulder is here, and that's kind of a problem. That you get the fact that the windows are clear, and then they're nothing. You know, they're just yep. white plastic in the back. But there, I think so. I think it looks better <laughs> as an ambulance, like because I mean, I think there's ambulances oh, yeah. that are like that, and and so oh, I sure. think that it makes more sense here. And I also think that the whites. Like the color matching is a little bit better on this compared to Ironhide. Like the yes. reds on the Ironhide were all like kind of different, slightly different shades of red. Um, and so I, I think that overall, like, and plus I just, I know Anna and I, I talked about it or not. Like, I think Ratchet overall looks better than Ironhide. Um, mm -hmm. And so, you know, like it's it inherently is going to, you know, just look better. But, you know, I, I don't know. Like, I wish on the figure that the. Um, that they could have fit. And, like, I don't know if I can put, like, maybe a tiny Autobot symbol here, you know, to break up mm. the white. Like, that maybe I'll that'll that. help, I guess. Yeah, because um, he has such a cool Autobot symbol on the top of the van. Right. Like, I love yeah, the way that looks. It's really but... neat, outliny. Yeah, the mm -hmm. red one's pretty. And then he doesn't really have it in bot mode. I think, think this guy needs bot. stickers. Yeah, I really do. Stickers. Yeah, he needs them. <laughs> So, you know, when Repro Labels make some, inevitably, it might be a good candidate if you've never tried them before to try them out. I've heard they're good. The yeah, only I've... thing that I've heard people say, and I'm going to say it too, but not as strongly, is that the blue color of the clear windshield parts and the clear window parts is a little bit too green for my tastes. Especially when you put him next to Lifeline, who comes with, she kind of brings out that green because she's green. Um, yeah. I feel like this could be like one touch darker in the blue. I don't think it's it's funny because, because the Siege, um, like the blue is very blue. <laughs> like it's almost like a dark blue on blue. Siege. That's yeah, almost, yeah. it's too much. Like it's almost, you, you put them next to each other and you're like, this one is too, you know, like a little bit, you know, not quite blue enough. But I don't know. I, I actually like the color of the windshield. I think it looks pretty, pretty nice, but. I'd like I to remind everyone that, that I'm the nitpicky one. <laughs> Just to remind everyone. Yeah, and, and he doesn't come with any other accessories. I know, you know, we were kind of discussing this too. Like, this is what he comes with. He comes with his gun and he comes with, the, like, the top and whatnot. And so he doesn't have the fun little, like, you know, the Siege had all these different accessories, like the little extender mm -hmm. arm and the wrench and all that. And so, you know, it's almost like if. If you end up getting rid of this, I almost want to just take the accessories off and, and use them for this guy. Yeah, you know, for a pack that says it's the Paradron Medics pack, and the, the little story that goes along with it is that you know, they go on, they went to Paradron to get some help, and that's fine. Like, since they have those accessories and it's exclusive, it really feels like this pack could have included those accessories from last year. Yeah. I think that would have really pushed over the edge to be like, oh, this is a good set, to be like, Oh man, this is a must-have set. It's it's such a good value for what it is. But now, is this set? I can't remember. Was this forty or is this fifty? Yeah. Forty. Yeah. So I mean, I think the fact that it's forty dollars. I think to me, they what they could have done, you know, kind of like what they did with um, the Sky Warp, you know, where you throw a bunch of Target Masters at that, you know, most people don't need except for Anna. Um, like, you could have put in one of those, and then you could have put in some more accessories and charged 50 or 60 bucks. Like, so, I, I think it's kind of nice it's only 40 you know. I, I don't know. I mean, I think the value's there for, you know, for Yeah, me, the, the value is there for 40 but I would have paid 50 to get the accessories and, you know, a Battlemaster. 
particularly since Lifeline is known to have a battle master or target master friend in the past. Yeah. Her last release came with one. Yeah, I could go with that. I'd be all for it. Yeah. This pack as is, though, at 40 is good. Especially because we had an internal discussion a couple of weeks ago when this pack came out. This Ratchet mold, the Ironhide mold, is probably not really a deluxe anymore. Right. I, yeah. I did some experimenting and I weighed it against the uh, the biggest mold of this line, which is Trailbreaker. Or the biggest deluxe of this line, which is like Trailbreaker or Hoist. And Ratchet and Ironhide are a third again heavier than that. So they're probably not really deluxes anymore. Yeah, that's the thing that's interesting. Like, I don't know if you've seen some of the pictures uh, floating around on Cyclonus, who's dropping, like, right now. But he is pretty much about the size of Ultra Magnus, and he's a Voyager. Huge. Like, I mean, he's probably going to be one of the, like, you know, bigger than a lot of the leaders that came out. And so, I mean, I think really with this, you know, whole line is you almost have to kind of look at it as a whole and not... You know, sit there and nitpick one figure versus the other right. on the on the size because they're trying to make everything be in scale for like you know the, the you know yeah, the scale. Uh, yes, he does yeah, look but, very simple though. Cyclonus, like as far as complexity, he looks to have low complexity but big size. The main point I was making is that we have three releases of this Ratchet Ironhide mold, and none of them are single packs. You know, it's like they have to come with a right. figure to make make it cost effective to release something that has this much extra plastic. Like you will never see this as just a twenty dollar deluxe ever. Right. And I think be- it does come down to the fact that the shield is a heavy, big chunk of plastic. Yep. And for me, I since I've been a little kid, I've probably talked about my love of G1 Iron Hide and Ratchet before, right? Like I really do love those figures. I have both of them, they're both in good shape, and I love them. Um, and you know, I don't even care about G1 figures anymore. You know, I'm pushing 40 and totally fine with the fact that my childhood toys weren't perfect. I need better versions that I collect them as a hobby. So yeah, I usually don't care about G1 figures. Those two are never leaving my possession because I love them. So anything that homages the sled, I'm all about, right? And on like the MP1, this is at least a part of the toy, right? This isn't just some extra thing that you set on the side and you build a van without it. It is part of the van. You know, it goes on the top. It makes the top of it. It basically completes the siege mold, which was an incomplete vehicle in the first place. And it has the little classic gun part that went in the middle of the sled, which made me really happy to see that's what we got as an accessory. I would have liked to have put the extendo arm thing in there. Of course. I would like to have all of it. And when an upgrade kit comes out that has all that stuff, I'm going to be tempted just because of my love of that classic idea. You're right. We don't see the sled often. I think the last time we saw the sleds integrated into these characters was in 2005. You know, and, and the thing I think is funny is is that um, most of the other characters, a lot of people complain about parts forming, you know, right? And, of course, the uh, lifeline is exactly that, too, that, well, I mean, technically, I guess you don't have to take it off, but, like... You know, you have that and the cliff jumper mold and whatever where they ha- kind of have these tacked on things where they, they you know, make a shield, quote unquote. But I actually think it is an advantage to this figure. Like, I just really like it just because, again, it references G1 um, and it integrates that, you know, that sh- uh, shield slud, whatever, into it. And I just think it's fun. You know, you can put it on there and then, you know, can kind of um, become a cannon. Uh, as well, you know, like it pops out and, you know, you've got your whatever, like missile launchers and stuff on that. So I think that I really dig it. Like, I think it's a neat, you know, overall it's a neat mold. Yeah, this is, this is one of those times when I don't have to choose. A lot of times we'll be talking about the figures and I'll be like, oh, I don't like this part of it. And you'll be like, oh, you don't like it to be G1 accurate? Har, har, har. And yeah. I'm like, no, I want it to be cartoon accurate, not toy accurate. And a lot of times they lean on G1 toy accuracy, which is, you know, blockier and more more robotic and less smooth and all those sorts of things. But this time I get both, right? I get the G1 toy accessory, even though it's kind of a crappy version compared to the original G1 version. But whatever, it's fine. It's an approximation. And I get something that looks more like the cartoon model the, you know, impossible van man who's just a, like, nice, clean van man. Um, I get both. So 
So I'm happy with it. Like, I'm a big fan of this mold. This is, like, yeah. one of the ones I'm really excited about. And yeah. unfortunately, I think it's a lot prettier as Ratchet than it is as Ironhide, which sucks because I don't plan to keep this one because I already have MP Ratchet. He's upgraded. He was a gift. I really like him. So I, I don't really want to keep both, but... I mean, as, as much as, you know, I joke about Masterpiece and, and whatever, I mean, yeah, like, that is... The Masterpiece version is much better than... MP Ratchet is a super one, cool so. toy. Yeah. MP Ratchet's very good. It's not exactly accurate to anything. The upgrade kit gets a lot closer, but it's super neat. Like, it's just a neat right. action figure transformer. It's a good transformer, which a lot yeah, of MPs are not. So... I would like to see this mold a couple more times. I know we're getting Shattered Glass Ratchet, which is okay, but I really would like to see it as Shattered Glass Sir Soundwave. I think that would be great. And just as we've been speaking, and and I've seen that pose next to you with the sled, I want this in blue in an homage to Energon Toe Line. Which was, I would love that. It was a mold homage to uh, these guys in the first place, so it would bring it full circle. Toe Line is so cool. I've been missing the robot half of my toy line for so long. Toe line, uh, not toy line. I've just had the sled. <laughs> oh no, that's terrible. Uh, it's actually in a bag right over by my closet because it's like I don't know what to do with it because I have fond memories of it. This was one of the few Energon toys I really liked. You know what? Let's go. Let's go a little bit, a little bit crazy here, and then we can bring me back in. But I would like to see a two pack of the Earthrise version of this mold and a Siege version of this mold. As Toe Line from Energon and Snowcat from Energon. Oh, be great. There you go. Energon Legends 2 pack, or call it whatever. I think that mold would make an excellent That'd be fun. Cat. And Snowcat yeah. is I mean, super it, cool, too. You know, Snowcat stays, you know, white. It's a little bit more off-white, and it's got other colors. But, like, just just do it, please. Snowcat's great. Toe Line's great. Shadowglass Soundwave is great. Just it, let's keep it going. I'd be fine with that. I... That would let me get rid of this one more openly because I could be like, oh, look at all the versions of this mold I have to buy. So bye bye, Ratchet. Yeah. Well, my Grandel said, like, the Siege uh, <laughs> mold of this uh, makes a pretty good crosshairs. So. It's a fantastic crosshairs. I like yeah. crosshairs. It's really yeah. good. It needs so. different wheels. I'm surprised there's not yeah. a great kit for that yet, but we'll get there. Yeah, so I guess, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about this toy, even though it's so weird that I have to admit, you know, I'm probably going to list this on the Facebook boards and say, hey, does anyone just want Ratchet? Because I don't really want to keep them just because I'm one for character. And But you have to kind of figure out whether or not Lifeline you're keeping her too. Cause yeah, you, don't you don't have to figure that out. I think I will. Uh, I think I convinced myself tonight that it's stupid to be as upset as I am about the forehead thing and not just fix it because I'm competent with paint, so I can fix it. It's going to look good, so why don't I just fix it? <laughs> you know, if it looks good, maybe I'll follow suit, because now that I've seen what you're talking uh -huh. about, I don't hate it, but I might like it a different way. I love I'm the ruined things for people. It's not ruined, but like I said, I might like it a different way. Show, show me your results, and we'll, we'll talk. I will. I will. I'm, I'm probably going to do it because I just, I really do want to keep her and I'm kind of tired of this toy. You know, I've had it for a few years and I liked it. Well, that's by I far the worst the version of, were. that's the worst huh? version of the mold. I think we talked about that before that yeah. the no, Eupatorium is it like, if you're going to get any version of that mold, get Eupatorium. I think if you're going to get a second one, if you can get the Feral Queen is also a very good version of that mold too, but it's like that one is just like the lamest one. Feral Queen is so. pretty neat. Yeah, if I if I don't wimp out and I do actually do it, I will definitely take it before and after. I have to get brave. I'm generally pretty brave. <laughs> you can do it while uh, we're chatting after the show tonight. It'll take you like five minutes. Or, well, or you can sell this set for a markup on on eBay because I don't know how much it's true. going for you now. Can, but you could stop it on eBay. To me, I feel like I wouldn't bother getting these for a huge markup. Um, no, like I, I, I think that they're huge. it's no. definitely worth the money, but like I don't think it'd be something where I would, you know. But I don't know. I could say that about a, a zillion figures right now, like green light and whatever. It's like not worth whatever. Yeah, I mean, if you're a ratchet dude or you're an arc dude and you want the best ones, I, I think this is it. 
you know, if you're in, if you're in that scale, I think this is the one you want. You can't go wrong with Siege. Siege was good. I think this is better. It fits right. for me better. But uh, presumably, Takara's having their own version of this in some months. You might have a shot then. Yeah, true. But if you're looking at me sitting behind this thing and you're thinking, I think my Siege toy actually looks better than that, you're not wrong. Because the Siege wrong. toy does kind of look better just because of the colors. Um, the chest build is a lot cooler looking on the Earth Mode version. Like when you stand yeah. them side by side, because I did the Iron Hide, the chest just looks a lot better with the windshields and the way that it's shaped and everything is just a lot nicer. But other than that, you know, with all the coloration and everything on your ratchet, you probably like it better. And are you really the type of person to display it in van mode? Or are you going to look at it once and then never put it in that mode again? So really keeping your siege probably isn't a bad idea. Yeah, Randall says this is his definitive ratchet. And I can agree with that, too. I mean, I think that it's it's really, really good. And, I mean, I think that, you know, the look and everything is, is close enough to... Um, you know, to masterpiece and whatever. I mean, I, I wouldn't, you know, I mean, I don't know. It's my definitive ratchet too, so. Yeah, me as well. You know, since we're at the tail end of Earthrise now, we can kind of you know, look back and, and see that, at least for me, I don't feel like I need to get more versions of a lot of the characters we got in Earthrise. Yeah. Ratchets among them, you know, Hoist, Seekers, Optimus. Like, I, I don't feel like I need another version of those like even if more come along and you know kingdom or what's after that i just i don't think i need to swap them out anymore yeah. i feel like it can be my definitive iron hide not my definitive ratchet that's already the mp but i feel like it can be my iron hide for sure um i was gonna mention um tfylp last night we uh had christian on and kind of talked about you know our collecting strategies and you know how big our our collection should be and whatnot so if you want to um check that out um that was a lot of fun he had rob on for the first time and he went off about masterpiece like for the first five ten minutes so uh Good. you know that was that was fun to see um and then there's not going to be an oof my wallet this week um so i don't know if they're doing with the holidays if he's doing anything next week or not we'll have to we'll have to find out if um, he does i will be there and i will have some really weird crap so let's hope he does love to show off my weird stuff i previewed that weird crap you're gonna want to tune in for that <laughs> good times excited so. Yeah, we'll, we'll see when the next next one is. But uh, Cut the Tape should be uh, pretty good this week, too, because uh, Rick finally unboxed his Java Sail Barge, and uh, so I get to edit down all that footage and put it up. So that should be fun as well. So And then uh, Book Club this week is going to be Megatron Origins. Um, so that will be Sunday night, 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central, on the Discord channel, if you want to uh, drop in and discuss uh, discuss that, so and this is a good time to pop in because it's a self contained story. It's not like you've missed the last few weeks or anything. It's just going to be from start to finish this story. So if you want to come and see if it's actually fun to talk to all of us, it's a good week to experiment. It is fun to talk to all of us, by the way. Plus, well, Megatron Origin is a really cool throwback story. I mean. Gosh, I haven't revisited that in years, and it's it's a good tale. Lots of interesting cameos in the background. We'll spend a lot of time talking about that. We always do. Good. I would go, but I have a conflict at that time every Sunday. Yeah. All right, well, uh, thank you, guys. Thank you to uh, Catherine Randall in the chat, and I guess we'll see you guys next week. Goodbye.